So here it is. The weeks of training, struggle, pain, blood, sweat and tears have all come down to this. It's time for our first semi-final. Ben Craggy takes on Lee Alice. Right, so here we go. Fighting Hurts, the first semi-final. I'm Malcolm Martin. With me, Rob, just the job nutly. So, Rob, as you can see, Lee Alice coming in now. I think Lee's going to want to box. <laughs> Although he's knows he's doing MMA now. I don't think you ever kind of really lose that boxing mentality that's drummed into you. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and keep the fight standing, but um, if it does go to the ground, then I've got to, you know, rethink and uh, do what I do on the ground. And his opponent and the next to enter the cage is Ben Craggy. He's looking very confident here as well, Rob. Look, he's nice and relaxed. I think this is a man that feels he could go all the way. Ben, it seems, always been, to, been the underdog, but Never underestimate the underdog. By oh, no means, anybody under underestimate my opponent. No way, no way. That's just a killer to do that. There's always a puncher's chance. If I belt him one on the chin, I think it'll rock him enough, even if it doesn't knock him out, to uh, to finish him off. But it can't be a good submission. Lee, you're a good boxer. You think that's going to help you win the fight? You're going to go to the ground. You're going to get submitted. You're either going to tap or something's going to snap, and it ain't going to be me. Ben, good luck. Keep your hands up. So I'm bringing down from Stroud the hillbilly hammers. Bring it on, come on! First of our semi-finals underway. Ben Craggy versus Lee Alice. And immediately, Craggy goes for the takedown, Rob. That's right, good work by Craggy. Good work by Alice as he sprawls and fires a knee. But he is taken take straight down. Beautiful takedown. And Rob, this is exactly where Lee didn't want to be. It neutralises all his strengths, doesn't it? That's right, he said he wanted to keep it upright and striking. But Ben Craggy's successful in his attempted takedown. Good work by Craggy again. Lee, push his head down. Lee at, at the moment looking to get him for the guillotine, but Ben Craggy really comfortable, pops his head free. Ben Craggy now looking to better position as he sits in the half guard of Lee Alice. Lee Alice does a great job and turns his opponent very, very well. Now that's a shock, Rob, surely, for the upright fighter with the boxing background. It was beautiful work by Lee Alice to capitalise on that. Good job. And that's what Ben Craggy's trying to deny, isn't it? That space to him. That's right, Ben Craggy looked to an armbar for a moment, but Lee Alice did a great job, pushes past the leg, finds himself inside, man. And what will have that done to Ben Craggy's mentality? Because he came in looking very confident, and this isn't quite going to plan, really. He's doing a good job of just blocking his opponent, trying to stop him from being able to get a clean shot off. And right now he's trying to scoot his way out the back door. Now, surely for Lee, he's just looking for ways to get those punches going, isn't he? That's right, Craggy does a good job, finds his, self, fights, finds his fight back to his knees, looks for the guillotine choke, pulls it back, doesn't quite get it. Good work by Lee Ellis to slip out. But, but I think you'll find Ben's already got damage to his eye, look, Rob. That's right, just under the right eye of Ben Craggy. So, Rob, when you look at these two guys, this is like when we see the big cage ratios. What, what's the difference that you're seeing here? Is it that just raw aggression? Well, to be honest with you, I mean, if you look at that first round, it was a very, very good first round. Both guys showing that the training that they've done has really paid off. Both guys making transition from submission techniques, they're throwing good strikes, they're, they're putting their body into good positions. So basically, the only difference between these guys and a seasoned fighter is experience and obviously training. But the fight took a different complexion than we thought. Lee Alice was taken to ground, but he did well. That's right. I think he used, in all fairness, he looks like a very strong guy. I think a lot of it was strength as well as technique, and he worked very, so very well. Now, as we look in Ben Craggy's corner, the good thing for him, Rob, is the cut is below the eye. It won't be going into the eyeball. If you can get a good cut, that's not a bad position to get it. No, it's not, and it's not actually leaking any blood which is also a good thing you know it just seems like it, it's just a small laceration across the underneath of the eye and, a, and again Lee looking for those shots and he catches his man with the right hand there 
Craggy caught for the first time, Robin. Dangerous moments for him. And a good sprawl there by Alice again. Good work by both fighters. And Lee back to his feet again. And Rob, I would just go with Alice in that first round. Yeah, I think so. I mean, Alice is looking tidier, the tidier of the two. You could see by a craggy strike in his hands. Never looks great. And, you and could... strength again there. Now, now, this has been a real shock because Alice is not noted for his ground skills here. And I think he, he, he's coping very well. Yeah, I think he's showing a good dominance in when he's taking position, he's showing comfort, you know, and you can see that he's generating good power from his hands in this position. Now, Rob, the problem for Ben Craggy here is this is fighting hurts, the whole concept. He only started training April of this year. It's a difficult situation, isn't it? Very difficult situation. And here comes the pounding. Leon's looking very closely now, Rob, because Ben is taking a heavy punishment here That's from Lee Alice, from that heavy right hand, and now the left. Great work by Alice working in for the crucifix position. As you can see, his left knee is controlling the right arm of Ben Craggy. Now, Rob, there is a huge backstory here behind this aggression from Lee. His father was murdered, a horrible thing to happen, and he is doing this in his memory, so maybe that extra motivation is showing through here. That's right, and he's showing good power in his hands as he keeps working towards striking at Ben Craggy. Well, at the end of the day, though, Rob, Ben is suffering here because you said you, you've got to keep your, your opponent tight like that. But at the same time, I mean, if you look at his position on the ground at the moment, he's doing a good job of working for the half guard. He's trying to stop the shots. To be honest with you, mate, I'm very impressed by both fights. But that said, it's the stand-up fighter that dominated that second round on the ground. That's right. Great work by Lee Ellis. Very, very impressed by his ability at the moment. He's showing good work in his hands, good work rate right on the ground, and a good job at negating and anything that, that Ben Craggy has to offer. Now we're looking at Ben Craggy. He's looking tired. The physical damage on that right eye isn't that much worse. He's come through that quite cleanly. Bit of bruising on the left eye, but his facially, he's held up very well there, Rob, despite that pounding in the second round. The third and final round, and Rob, I've got Lee Alice possibly two up. Yeah, I think that's probably a fair assessment. He seemed to dominate the first round, second round. He dominated. Oh, a huge right hand, Rob! And all of a sudden, he took that well, though, Craggy. I'm impressed because that was a big, big right hand. He did, but it was a oh, knee to the now. body. He's hurt now, Rob. Him. That's he right. is hurt badly. Beautiful knee by Lee Ellis. Went straight up the centre. Caught that's him in it. The He's stomach. called it. He's called it, Rob. Beautiful the punch knee. was there, but it was the knee that really cemented that. 